This is DC Direct Batman Arkham Asylum Joker with Scarface. The set is part of series one of the Batman Arkham uh, Arkham Asylum uh, toy line. Uh, so this well, this action figure line is based on the video game. Of course, you already know that. And if you have been a collector of DC Direct, you will know that um, this toy company is just like uh, Diamond Select, but they produce DC figure. So you have uh, Diamond Select with Marvel and DC Direct with DC. Um, basically, their figure are very very similar, which is, which um, they well their figure basically have an awesome scope and detail, but the articulation is really crappy. Um, with DC Direct, it is. Uh, the same. I mean, the, I mean the detail and and the sculpting. I mean, such a great job that DC Direct has uh, done. Um, I have no uh, no complaint about that. But uh, I mean the uh, articulation is so limited that you don't have a lot to work with, and uh, so I couldn't pose this guy in any decent pose except this one. Um, so. Uh, well, in other words, the articulation is, well, it feels like last generation kind of articulation because it is very basic, either hinge or swivel, uh, very, very little uh, amount of ball joint. But um, in my opinion, um, you know, DC Direct didn't really bring out the potential in this figure. So I think instead of spending... Uh, well, instead of spending more money on such a fancy look, uh, fancy looking packaging as you see here, they could have used that money to, well, they could have reduced the size of the pack of of the packaging and focus on uh, the action figure itself, which is really the point here because you are mainly paying for the action figure. For me, I am not a main on car collector, so I couldn't care less about having. The, uh, pa the uh, having such a f such a um, fancy look uh, fancy looking packaging because you, um, if you're like me you're gonna throw it away anyway. So here is the clamshell uh, type of packaging. It says Series One. In the background, uh, you can see the environment of the game with a big moon. Um, but that poster had to be the nicest thing about the. Uh, the uh, packaging because with the moon in the background it's really well you can see a lot of contrast or you can see a lot of detail on the figure very clear especially the uh, the choker so that is a good thing and um, on the back uh, and we have the entire series one we have Harley Quinn Batman and uh, Scarecrow in the background. Here is a little summary of the game. Um, I haven't played the game yeah, because, well, the game is mainly a connection uh, for, uh, well, for the gamers and 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 the and the Dark Knight or the Batman begin uh, begins fans. So they so they basically connect uh the uh gamer and the fans together so that's really nice uh let me give you a 360 here and for this one you get two batman villains so you're basically paying for well you get two for the price of one which is really good but uh with this joker i'm not very happy with the articulation as i already mentioned and there was a lot of fuss about this figure. I mean, since the uh, since the um, Heath Ledger Joker makes such an impact on the Batman community, I mean, everyone is just so crazy about the Joker. And now every version of the Joker, I have to say that every version from beginning from the Dark Knight, they are all sold out. Um, uh, so the this figure comes with the base. It is very simple, black base, very general, not a whole lot. Um, so there you go. There's no Batman Arkham Asylum logo or anything on it. 
So let's go over Scarface. A, um, you can count this one as an action figure or either as an accessory because this one isn't much. I haven't read the game, I don't know how the Joker got a hold of Scarface, but uh, maybe the uh, the fans will know. But uh, this one has a lot of, well, it has a lot of uh, good sculpting detail, but same thing like the Joker, very limited articulation. He has a swivel head, swivel, by, um, swivel shoulder, swivel hip, and that's it. But if you take a look at his knee, I mean his knee has has uh his knee has a hinge joint molded um into it but uh it doesn't work so probably another joint reduction uh scheme by DC Direct but overall it's good and uh you can see his elbow uh, exposed there no uh no civil wrist um there could be but uh I couldn't move it so I, well, I couldn't get it to budge, so I don't know if there is a joint or not. And there is a, um, I would say a slot, something like that, so you can make the choker hold it, like that. And on to the choker itself. Uh, good thing is that he has a really nice head sculpt. And um, second one, uh, he has a really nice metallic gold chain there. And it's actually a real one. So, um, the overall uh, image of this guy, he reminds me of Jack Skellington from Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> because of the uh, long and very thin limbs. Very skinny. But here it is. Uh, the hair scarf, very nice, very accurate to the game. Probably, um, probably the... Um, the uh, selling point of this figure. Now on to articulation. Uh, he has a ball jointed head which moves okay not a whole lot but okay. Can move a uh, complete circle and up and down a little bit can tilt from side to side. He has a ball hinge uh, shoulder, hinge elbow, swivel wrist, no torso joint or waist joint he um, has what appears to be a ball hinge hip. I'm not sure if it is a ball hinge or just a swivel because he can move uh, forward and back and in and out a little bit. Uh, hinge knee and a ball jointed um, ankle, but uh, it is pretty much hindered because of the uh, because of his pants. And another useless. Uh, feature which is his hand gestures um his well his hand are sculpted mainly to hold scarfe only and uh, it is one one accessory the only one that he comes with but if you have let's say uh DC universe classic joker and you want to give those accessory um well you want to give this guy the accessory of the DC universe classic joker he cannot hold it. I mean, this hand. This one is pretty much an open hand, and this one, is the same thing. So let's say, uh, let's say I have a fish from that one, and nope, I don't think so. And let me get my uh, my DC. I apologize, I mean, I should have prepared the figure before the review, but uh, here he is for comparison. Um, well, the more detail that this one has, the more less detail that this one has. But the more articulation this one has, the less articulation is on this one. So each one has um, kind of its own weakness there. But this one is better because I like the articulation on this one. I like the look of the classics, and he comes with um, the the uh, appropriate uh, Joker accessory. And you can see he cannot hold even his staff, so it's kind of a disappointment. So um, this figure mainly is designed to hold his 
one and only accessory. Uh, but in my opinion, this figure is useless. Even if you are a big or diehard or hardcore Joker fan, um, I would say pat this one up. I mean, beside, uh, beside from illustrating uh, the look of the Joker from the game, he is good for nothing figure. Um, if you want a good Joker figure, I suggest go for the Walmart exclusive DC Universe Classics uh, Whip 10 Joker. He is a much better figure and he is more affordable. This one cost me about $19 at my local comic shop and now that I have I have uh, seen the figure in person, I say it doesn't worth the money that I pay for him. I didn't see what the fuss is all about, but uh, he is one useless figure. So if you are so so if you're a big Joker fan or you just a casual collector or even if you are a DC Direct Hardcore collector, I would say pat this one up uh, because it certainly doesn't worth it. And thanks for watching.